my parents both left me with very profound lessons. My mother taught me to be a proud feminist before the word existed. My father was a Holocaust survivor, a rabbi, who was the only survivor in his family. Because my family, therefore, was so small, the importance of family and treasuring family became central in our lives. But also, so did the memory of the Holocaust. He wanted me to see two important things. One, that we make sure at all times that we're reaching across divides. People who look different, who pray different, who love different, who live differently. That we're always building bridges. We're always trying to hook arms with other people to make sure that vulnerable people are never subjected to the kind of hatred that he and his family saw. And the second major lesson is that when hatred does rear its head, that we make sure it never is met with silence, that it is always called out, it is always condemned, and we demand other people to condemn it too. And the mission of the Federation has really changed from the early days when anti-Semitism was rampant here in Milwaukee and around the country where doctors couldn't get hospital privileges or lawyers couldn't get accepted into firms. So originally the organization focused on problem solving those issues. Then we had, you know, amazing anti-Semitism happening around the world and the Federation and the Jewish community here focused on trying to help victims of hatred, most notably during the Holocaust. Then there was the creation of Israel and we focused on ensuring that Israel was, is, and continues to be a strong, safe, and protected country as the Jewish homeland. And so what we now are in the business of doing is building a Jewish educational opportunity, Jewish community gathering opportunity. We want the future of Milwaukee to be vibrant, rich, and for Jews also opportunities to act on their Jewish identities.